Yeah, my name is Sani, and um, I just completed Gita's five-day spring retreat. Um, I did it virtually, and I'm actually located in Sweden right now. I work as a makeup artist and as an art director. I just went through a country move four months ago, and it hasn't been super easy to, um, to settle in Sweden. So I was feeling the opposite of grounded. Everything was up in the air. So on a mental or emotional level, I really wanted to get more grounded, definitely. On a more physical side, when, when I don't feel grounded or when I'm stressed or anxious, and even, to be honest, when I'm not stressed and anxious, I have a lot of digestive problems. And every once in a while, I feel like I have identified exactly what it is and then then all of a sudden it gives me um problems again so I kind of wanted to really reset all of that as well a virtual retreat does have its benefits it's easier to fit it in to your normal life so you don't have to travel anywhere it's obviously less expensive and I think that it was easier for me to say yes to myself in booking the retreat because it was virtual. But I do feel that like the group had a great energy online anyways. It's an easier commitment to make, I feel. It's like if you're doing a retreat in Greece, I would love to join that. Uh, I really enjoyed the food. I, I thought it was on the surface of it. If you look at a recipe for Kitchery, it's like well it's some rice and beans and it's not going to be super if you just look at it like that it's like oh that might not be very tasty but it's really good and I'm definitely a convert to the CCFT um I'm somebody who tries to if there's activities obviously you had said several times that you know pick what feels right to you and on that day or and I feel like oh I want to do it all and then the activities were great uh, like the arch of the of the whole retreat was structured really nicely so they were kind of almost building on each other every single day I physically I feel great I have zero digestive problems like initially I felt tired I think on day one and still on day two but that's because I had given up coffee a week before but I hadn't given up black tea so I was still having caffeine until the day before the retreat emotionally and mentally some of the routines that we did are really now going to be part of like um my everyday and I feel like more okay about being in a state of change yeah. Gita was an amazing facilitator I actually said on one of the calls that I could listen to Gita's voice forever <laughs> because it's a really calming and nice voice the right vibrations I guess what I was surprised about or I didn't expect it is our daily sessions I just kind of thought that we'd go online and then talk about the activities for the day or talk about a theme but Gita was really interested in how everybody um everybody was feeling and we went through because so many people were going through similar themes or similar things and it actually really helped everybody so the way that Gita approached everyone and listened to you know whatever even if some people were going through bigger things and some people were going through a minor thing but like everything had the same value which was I think really nice for me. I really enjoyed um, giving myself the time to do like the morning routines said it like all the morning rituals are really lovely and grounding and I think yeah the morning times are probably like my favorite just doing this kind of intensely for five days I'm so much more in interested in Ayurveda now and I just ordered your book last night <laughs> I think like on an emotional level, on day one, we wrote letters of things we want to let go of. And then I was reading my intentions and going, no, actually you can just, your life is going to be better and much more grounded if you don't worry about this or if you don't worry about that. I've definitely been <laughs> more emotional in the last five days 
than normal, um, which is fine. Oh, and this morning, for I think it was because the retreat was over, I felt like all of a sudden I felt a bit, oh, okay, now all of a sudden that bubble is over and I have to do work and this and that. And then I just did some um, box breathing and it was fine. And you felt like you could say anything and, you know, it wouldn't be... You, you wouldn't be judged um, by anyone. Everyone was there for the same reason. And sometimes I feel like it's almost easier to share in a virtual group as opposed to, you don't necessarily feel as vulnerable saying something because you're not in the physical space with others. <laughs> Um, I would definitely recommend Gita's um, online retreat, um, and I will I will definitely do it again. Um, what Gita said about so doing it maybe in the spring and autumn makes a lot of sense in these um, kind of times of change. It is delightful, and um, it was it was it was definitely more than I expected. I feel um, elevated. Is the right word.